Ryan Stanfield, Super Stanfield Customs, and today we're going to go over the Gamma Core soft tip bolt and our warranted replacement tip. First off, we got our bolt. As you can tell, that rubber is super, super, super soft. We'll explain what happened. So we did testing for about three months. We used six different materials, um, different hardnesses, different densities, all sorts of different stuff. And uh, you notice they don't really squish. We went into production and uh, we were sold on some material that was supposed to be harder than this. Not supposed to do that. So this is the solution. Here's our fix, which is just like our prototype stuff. Right in, the, right in between the two. Right between our two favorites. So uh, it's an easy fix. All you do is take something soft and non-marring, so pen, macro line, eraser from a pencil, anything. And you're going to take your bolt and you're going to push down from the front. It should just come out. Quick, easy, no big deal. Put them back in. It's a little more work, but not much. So what we're going to do, we're going to line it up out of our packaging here. And so you're going to line it up. Small side's gonna go in first. Just gonna get lined up, pushing with your finger as far as you can. Use your non-marring soft plastic whatever. Push lightly. Um, I try not to push on the webbing. I think it's just good practice. I don't know if it's necessarily an issue if you push it on the webbing. I would just limit it. So I like to push back and forth on the, the walls and it should just snap right in. If it gets stuck on the retaining ring about halfway down or, you know, almost all the way in, you may have to wiggle it to center it, and then it should snap in. Either way, we should be good to go. We did uh, a lot of testing with this new material. Um, I know it's been quick, it's only been 24 hours, but we did about 200, 250 PSI, or cubic inches of 3,000 PSI air tank. Um, all the 68s I had, I had 27 and 13, used everything, and uh, just kept dry firing and dry firing and dry firing couldn't collapse wouldn't come out this whole squishy collapsey thing that's not no longer an issue so they're not going to shoot out they should be in there permanent if you have any issues let me know we'll keep working on this and warranting it um generation two run two whatever we want to call it for the bolts will are still due end of the month um as soon as they're done we'll get them up for sale um there's gonna be more in the second run than we're in the first run so give everybody a chance to get a bolt, another bolt, whatever you need. So we'll work on it. We'll get you guys going. Um, LV bolts are still on track also. We had a Cocker half block bolt in the works. I'm talking with some angel guys, do some angel bolts, and uh, all sorts of fun stuff in the works. So stay tuned, and thanks for uh, the support. And we'll get these back on the field for you guys.